Are you thinking of moving to the west side of Vancouver, but you're not quite sure which area or neighborhood is right for you and your family? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal the top five neighborhoods in the west side of Vancouver, so stick around. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. This video is all about the top five neighborhoods in the west side of Vancouver that's going to fit your lifestyle. If you're new here, I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love and own here in Vancouver. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell as well so you can be notified the moment that I have a new video out. The west side of Vancouver is home to some of the most expensive real estate in Vancouver other than West Vancouver. Now for those who don't know, the west side of Vancouver is part of the city of Vancouver, whereas West Vancouver is across the Lionsgate Bridge and is a separate municipality right next to North Vancouver. The west side of Vancouver is divided into 19 sub areas, but in this video, we're gonna look at the top five. Now the west side of Vancouver is bordered by Ontario Street and the western edge of the UBC Endowment Lands east and west and the Burrard Inlet and the Fraser River north and south. The west side of Vancouver boasts many mature neighborhoods with spectacular homes and many with even more spectacular views. We're kicking things off with our number five sub area, False Creek. The False Creek sub area is bordered by Burrard and Canby Streets east and west and 6th Avenue and False Creek north and south. The largest attraction of the False Creek neighborhood would have to be Granville Island, drawing approximately 10.5 million visitors per year from Metro Vancouver and around the world. Granville Island is definitely a top tourist destination. Along the waterfront is a seawall where one can stroll all the way around Science World and into Stanley Park if you desired. Or jump on one of the many water ferries and enjoy a pleasant five minute journey across the water. The Olympic Village is also part of the False Creek neighborhood. This area was built to house international athletes during the 2010 Winter Olympics here in Vancouver. Afterward, the units were sold to buyers wanting to live in this burgeoning neighborhood. Everything you could possibly need is right at your doorstep in Olympic Village. From restaurants, grocery stores, coffee shops, pharmacies, everything you need is right here. It's easy to see why so many people want to live in the False Creek neighborhood because you are literally a hop, skip and a jump from downtown Vancouver. Our number four neighborhood is Carisdale. Carisdale is bordered by Blenheim and Cypress Streets east and west, and 37th and 49th Avenues north and south. Ask anyone and they'll tell you that the heart of Carisdale is the shopping district, simply known as The Village, which is right here at 41st Avenue. It was back in 1905 when Mrs. William McKinnon was asked to name the interurban stop at Wilson Road, which is now 41st Avenue. She named it Carysdale after her home Carydale in Gerlock, Scotland. Carydale apparently means little seat of the fairies. Now, I haven't spotted any fairies around here yet, but be sure to let me know if you see any in the video footage that I've captured. The name Carysdale was quickly corrupted to its modern day Carysdale and is one of the best known districts in Canada. Our number three neighborhood is Kitsilano, bordered by Burrard and Alma Streets east and west, and 16th Avenue and Burrard Inlet north-south, Vancouverites simply call it Kits. It is synonymous with Kits Beach, which was actually named one of the top 10 city beaches in the world. You can also swim at Kits Pool. At 137 meters long, it is North America's longest outdoor pool and Vancouver's only outdoor heated saltwater pool. Now, if it's shopping and restaurants you're after, 4th Avenue is definitely the place to go. Kitsilano is located on the unceded territory of the Musqueam people and its name is actually derived from the Squamish Nation chief, August Jack Katsilano. In the 1960s, it was Vancouver's hippie hangout and has often been compared to San Francisco's hate Ashbury. Everyone falls in love with Kitsilano and it's easy to see why. It is also home to Vanier Park. Now this fabulous green space is home to some of Vancouver's best family friendly attractions, including the Maritime Museum, the HR Macmillan Space Center and the Museum of Vancouver. It is also home to Bard on the Beach, the renowned Shakespeare Festival that takes place here in Vancouver every year from June to September.
Our number two neighborhood is Fairview, bordered by Canby and Burrard Streets East and West and 16th Avenue and 6th Avenue North South. This neighborhood has fantastic access to the downtown core and is home to the fantastic shopping district known locally as South Granville. It is also home to two Canada Line stations, Olympic Village Station and Broadway City Hall Station. As I mentioned in my Where to Live in Vancouver video, the Canada Line is a light rapid transit system connecting downtown Vancouver to YVR Airport. The South Granville Shopping District is undergoing a massive change. It has been home to some of Vancouver's best and most acclaimed restaurants and businesses, but many of them are leaving the area. While the circumstances differ for each business, some commonalities are skyrocketing property taxes, fractured lease negotiations, and minimum wage increases. This has been one of Vancouver's marquee commercial districts, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Sitting just above the False Creek neighborhood, Fairview offers you many home options with lovely views of the city, water, and North Shore mountains. Fairview is also home to Vancouver General Hospital. And our number one neighborhood is Dunbar. Dunbar is bordered by Blenheim and Quinnell Streets to the east and the UBC Endowment Lands to the west and 16th and 41st Avenues north and south. This neighborhood is known for its quiet residential streets with its grand old trees often arching entirely over the roadway, much like Carisdale. At its heart is the Dunbar Village Shopping Center. This neighborhood really feels like it's from another era. The Southlands are still home to horse stables and sprawling mansions overlooking the Fraser River. The Dunbar area sits adjacent to Pacific Spirit Park and UBC. There are many serene parks here in Dunbar as well as the McCleary Golf Course. And those are your top five neighborhoods in Vancouver's west side. And this wraps up the four videos that I've shot all about the neighborhoods in Vancouver. We started with where to live in Vancouver, the top three neighborhoods in downtown Vancouver, the top five neighborhoods on the east side of Vancouver, and this video, the top five neighborhoods on the west side of Vancouver. If you've missed any of them, be sure to check out my channel under the playlist, Living in Vancouver. As I mentioned, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. If you have any questions, if you're moving here, relocating here, or moving from one part of Metro Vancouver, Vancouver to another, make sure to shoot me a text, send me an email, or connect with me on my mobile number. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well, so you can be notified the moment I have a new video out. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if so, please hit that thumbs up button, give the video a like, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to know what your favorite neighborhood or neighborhoods are in Vancouver. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And remember, this is where you live, love, own Vancouver.